Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different that we're trying out and it's kind of just like, what do you want to call it? Is it what, like a little twin chat or something? Yeah, like a little, just, I don't know, I don't know, it's yeah, basically a little twin chat. Yeah. Gonna see how this works out, if y'all like it and want to see more then we'll keep doing some, you know, every month, but we just wanted to try something out and just talk to y'all. So, I wanted to talk about high school. So, <laughs> we have been out of high school for like what? This year it's gonna be... F well, 2016 will be four years. Yeah, four years. It has not seemed like that long. It just seems like we graduated, honestly. Yeah. But I mean, when we were in high school, we were in dual enrollment. So, our senior year, we were pretty much, like, we pretty much weren't even there anymore. Mm -hmm. We were there for like a period and then we left and we would go to our college classes so I mean I mean we weren't really there so I guess we didn't really have that whole senior year experience I don't feel like we missed out on anything honestly no, not really I mean our junior year felt more like our senior yeah, that year that was a fun year so it was definitely fun yeah I mean how would how would you describe our high, our high school experience? I mean, it was fun. We definitely, I mean, I feel yeah. like we talked to everyone just because in our high school, there didn't really seem to be any kind of those cliques. Everyone there was, kind of. But I mean, I mean, everyone would say hi to each other or yeah. talk to someone. It doesn't like, that wasn't like, oh, you're in this group, so and you just hang out with those people, you. you know? It was really, it was really chill. Yeah. I mean, we kind of stuck to the people that we talked about talked about talked to on a regular basis that was kind of like our little group but we talked to everybody pretty yeah. much I mean I had a before like there our our high school our town is mainly like Hispanics mm -hmm. populated like that's like the majority in our high school that you know that's pretty much all there was we're Hispanic so I mean it wasn't an issue for us but um in one of my I mean I didn't really speak to the Hispanics or Mexicans or anything like that that much. I knew some of them from growing up and stuff, but I didn't really speak to a whole lot of them. And then I had this class. What was it? PE. Team. No, it was it was team sports, which is PE. like PE. Yeah, it was team sports. Oh my god, there was like nothing but Mexicans in there. I didn't really have any of my you know the friends we usually friends hang I usually with. hang out with in that class. And I swear, I mean, we go to Mexico every year. And <laughs> in that class, I like met so many Mexican people. It was awesome like in that class they had like over there in Mexico they'll have all these nicknames for all these guys and all that kind of stuff and in this class I swear it was like being in Mexico because they had so many nicknames it was hilarious because one would be iPod Nano one would be iPod Shuffle it, it is crazy with that but I met like so many um other Mexicans in that class and it really like kind of broadened up my friends I guess and I would like start to talk to them and say hi to them and that's why I really like that class because I didn't really talk to the Hispanics that much before. I mean, I knew them, but then after that class, I got like a better relationship with them, I guess. So I like that. So I didn't have that class, and you know, just right like as a regular everyday kind of thing. I'm not the most sociable person, so people would always like her. But I think they like her better just because you know she'll say hi, and me, I just kind of like stick to myself. If you say hi to me, I'll say hi, but I'm not one of those people who are just, like, so outgoing that I'll go up to you and be like, hey, how are you doing, or hi. I mean, I'd walk around the hallway. I mean, I'll smile like, oh. and that kind of stuff, but, I mean, I kind of just stuck to myself a little bit more than she did. And that's yeah. why I think everyone always, supposedly she's the nice twin, I'm, like, the mean one or something. That's what they always... But I mean, the label says. I'm just not that sociable, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not the kind of person who will just go up to someone and say hi or anything like that. Just, that's just me though. Not because I, you know, I wouldn't want to or, I don't know, I guess in that kind of aspect, I'm a little bit shy, you know, and I get nervous for sure. But there's this one time in high school, let me tell y'all. So we're twins and I was like, we had never switch classes. What what year was it? Our junior year? I'm pretty sure it was our junior year. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was our junior year. And I was like, we were we were leaving uh, lunch. She just drops this on me. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving lunch and all of a sudden I'm like, no, no, let's switch classes. And she's like, no, I don't want to switch classes. And like, all being a Debbie Downer. Seriously, I mean, it. I could have had like a little plan before, you know, and ahead of like, time. she's like, no, too. I don't want to, I don't want to. And so I like space. just grab her, her backpack and I head to her class and she has to go to mine. <laughs> 
and who was it? Um, our teacher, you had... No one, no one even knew, okay? And then I had one teacher two times. One in the beginning like, of the uh, school day and one at the end of the school day. That was a ridiculous part. I went to the first one wearing something. She went to the second one. The teacher didn't, didn't even different. know. I think the only like, thing she said was that I was a little quiet. I guess you were more... You know, outspoken in that. Yeah, class. they told me that but I wasn't. You wouldn't talk. I wasn't anything. trying to get caught. I didn't want to get in trouble. I mean, we had this was just dropped on me. I mean, I didn't really want to. I don't know. I just didn't want to get in trouble. I mean, I it was done so it. funny though. And the day before, was it the day before? Or no, it was in lunch, right? When I asked Miss Kelly, I asked our principal because we're was like Miss Kelly. We're like this with her. We were like this with her. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I asked her. I was like, if we switch classes, would we get in trouble? And she was like, I mean, if y'all two were taking a test for each other or something like that, yes, you would. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. And I think it was that day that we I decided to yeah. switch classes. Now you also, did you ask or did I ask? Um, what was her name? She was a she was that the teacher that Miss uh, Rodriguez. Yes. Her. Okay. Okay. So we both had her right, um, different periods, um, but we had it at the time where I would I went to hers and. Um, I didn't really talk that much. No, wait. No, but was it you? At, was it you? Hold on. No, it was you that went for me. Yeah, I went for you. But, like, I think either I asked, somebody asked her. Um, she said, would you be able, somebody asked her, I don't know if it was me or if it was you, I don't remember, but um, somebody asked her, would you be able to tell if we switched? And she was like, no, I don't think so, or anything like that. And that day, we had switched. And then... It was really nerve-wracking because I was in that class with her and I swear I thought, because I thought she knew us pretty well, so I thought she would be able to tell <laughs> that we switched, but she didn't. Uh, at least she didn't act like she did, but a yeah. like a year or so ago, she came into my sister's shop at the salon and I asked her, I was like, hey, did you know when we switched classes? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, I thought it was so cool. <laughs> So she did know, but she didn't rat us out. It was really fun though. I mean, she was being a Debbie Downer. She didn't want to do it, so I just grabbed everything. She just like sprung it on me. What am I and supposed I was like, to do? Bye. I didn't even know. I yeah. was like, bye Felicia, no, you go just, to my class. It was even more nervous because she had went to the same teacher already in the beginning of school. And then at the end of her classes, she was going to go back to that <clears> same teacher. And we were wearing completely different outfits. And I'm like, okay, this is not going to fucking work. But I, she, she was dumb. And <laughs> Uh, I don't even okay, know. Okay, never mind now. Now I just said that. I was going to mention who the teacher was, but I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> uh, but it was really funny, and I had a good time. That's the only time we switched, though. Like, I would have wanted to switch a couple more times, but... Um, it never really popped into my mind. It's the only time switch. we switched. Yeah. I want to talk about, personally, just, you know, this big idea that I think everyone in that I grew up with or that's been went to high school with me didn't ne necessarily know me or know us. But I mean, they always say that we're stuck up and <laughs> we're bitches and all this and that. And I think it's just, I mean, like, if you tell me that to my face, I'm probably just going to laugh at you, which might piss you off more or think that I don't take it seriously. But I'd rather laugh, like, laugh it off than get mad. Because when I get mad, it's not pretty and I don't like getting mad. But I mean, That's they don't, people who say that, they don't really know that. They don't really know us. I mean, they see what we post on Instagram. I'll post something um, talking about how you know, badass I am, how beautiful I am, or how I look good, how, like, I'm a 10, and, like, a 3 just walked in, or something like that, but I think it's funny, it's, like, jokes to me, and yeah. I do it more just because the people that think I'm, you know, super conceited or super stuck up, you know, just to give them something more to talk about or something more to hate me for, because I think it's funny, and, you know, what I post doesn't always relate to, like, my life at all. Yeah, a lot of the stuff we post is just kind of like, it's funny as heck, so yeah. it doesn't really say, it doesn't really, you know, on there for, that's how I think of myself, you know, I'm the shit, but it's just funny, it's funny as hell to read those kind of memes and posts, I think it's, I always laugh about it. Yeah, so and I always post it because, I mean, people think I'm like that, so I'm just going to do it anyway. It's always been an issue, I mean, people see, it's always going to be an issue for anybody who has who has like nice things or is doing well for themselves or it's... who you know is just not insecure and we're not insecure people I mean I don't think anyone should be insecure like especially if I say something about you or if some anyone says anything about you that's not you know the nicest thing like who cares who cares if I say something who am I you know like don't take it to heart because do I really matter do other people that say anything about it's us true. matter no, so I don't really care what people say that much. I mean, yeah. sometimes it'll get to me because, you know, sometimes people are supposed to be, like, my friends and they'll say something or something like that. But 
I just try not to let it get to me and I'll just laugh it off or something. Yeah, people are always gonna like talk about you, especially if you're doing well for yourself and mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. They're just, you know, they're, they get jealous or they get angry that they're not, you know, at that level in their life. But I mean, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We can all do what we need to do to get to a better Place. level in our life, you yeah. know, it's, and that's what I think they just miss out on you. You know, they see people with nice things and they're like, that's not fair, this and that, but they don't really know how hard people have worked to earn that lifestyle. How about, you know, a lot of people always ask us, what's it like being a twin? Yeah, actually that was one, that was something that I wanted to I mean, about, I think, we don't really know what it's like to be a twin because real. The, we, <laughs> we only know this, you know, we don't know, you know, not, not, we didn't grow up not being twins. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to answer that. Do we read each other's minds? No. I mean, there are Some, instances Sometimes where... I know what she's, you know, pro I'm pretty sure I know what she's thinking, but that's just, that's not reading. That that's also comes, yeah, that also comes from me always being around her. Like if I had a really be like a best friend and we were always together and we were always talking to each other, I would probably be the same way with them. I probably like, you know, if they gave me that look, like I get her looks like that. Like you see that and I'm like a girl will without walk. even talking. Yeah. A girl will walk by and I'm like I'm like Yeah, I saw her shoes. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's I like having a twin, I guess, cuz there's always somebody there. I'm never alone, especially in college. It kind of sucks if you're like Anti-social like, like us. Not just anti-social, but like, you don't have a friend, like you're, mo especially with people from out of state that are going there all by themselves and they don't know friends and stuff. At least I always have her, you know, that's my favorite part, so. I'm never yeah. alone. Yeah. I would hate to be alone. I mean, she's my best friend and she's, you know, we came in this world together and we're going to go out together. Yeah, let me just clarify what that means to her. Uh, she says that, um because we were born together we are going to die together and that means if she's dying and i'm not dying she says she's going to kill me so i can die yeah with her and i mean i don't want to die if like if you're dying and i'm not ready to, I, and i'm not ready to go without me like i don't want to live in a world without you yeah but That's I, mean, why I just feel like you me. killing me it's not the answer you wouldn't know it <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it makes sense, don't you think? For real. <laughs> we came in. I mean, I don't want to live without any of my family, honestly. But. So then it's a win-win. I don't know what you're complaining about. You're going to die with me. I'll make sure all of us die together if you want. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Maybe next time we do this, we'll have, like, questions, people asking us stuff. I mean, hopefully. I mean, usually that don't happen. We mm -hmm. post stuff on Instagram or something asking for people to comment. They usually don't comment, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. That's okay. I mean, we'll try. For real. We'll try. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, we didn't do a no, no wait, October, October favorites just because we didn't feel like we had anything new yeah. or like enough things that we wanted to talk about for an October favorites. So we're going to just combine that with November. Yeah. Because for sure this month we have stuff to talk about. So, I mean, with makeup. It's just, it, this has to do with social media too. Like, we'll be, I mean, my account is basically makeup and that, and then like my outfits and stuff, and then some of my family and stuff like that. And when I post stuff, you know, my makeup looks and stuff, sometimes I will get one or two persons on there that will comment and be like, that's too much makeup, or tone it down, or something like that. I'm like, you realize that this account is basically makeup and fashion. Like, why are you doing And that? not even just on Instagram, but on Facebook. That too. Like, a year ago, I had this really dark blue, black, smoky eye on. And some guy, and I hate when guys comment and say stuff because they don't know anything unless, you know, they do makeup themselves. And he was like, that's too much makeup. Especially a guy. Like, what do you know? Exactly. And... Where I work at my store, there was a guy that even told me, like, you shouldn't wear so much makeup. I hate that. That's like, one of my pet peeves. Like, who, who are you? Who Why are you, you to say something to that to someone you don't know? Like, everybody has their opinions and stuff, but if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Or if you do, honestly, you know, just walk away and go tell your friend, like I do. Yeah. I don't say it to the person's face. Because I don't do that. It's rude. And, like, everybody has their own style. Why are you going to 
you know, judge them for what they like to do. So, um, I mean, it just, it's annoying when people, like, you're not gonna, I, I see this meme all the time, I mean, you're not, the, when they talk about you put on too much makeup, you're not gonna go on, on makeup artists or just somebody who loves makeup on their account and say, that's too much. Because it's the same thing as for a painter like Picasso, that's what they use on the meme. Like, you're not gonna tell him that's too much paint. It's what we do, you know? And I'm still gonna do it anyway. Like, I like full coverage, like, per perfection kind of makeup. That's my style. Like I want, I don't want my pores to show, I don't want my freckles to show, I don't want my anything, anything bad to show. I want my face to look flawless. So I mean that's what I want to do and I'm always going to do that no matter how many people, you know, anyone should do what they want to do honestly. Like if you like doing makeup, you know, kick that shit on. Oh, if you yeah. don't like doing makeup, don't wear it. Don't wear it or do you? Know, you. Yeah, always. but you know, don't talk about it. Just let oh, just let other people do what they want to do. Yeah, especially to the girls who are like, I don't wear makeup. Oh my god, <laughs> it makes me laugh. Yeah, and then want to talk shit about girls who do wear makeup. Like, but the difference is the girls who <laughs> do wear makeup do not talk about the girls that don't wear makeup and be like, you should wear makeup. I don't know why you don't wear makeup. And, and they don't do that. <laughs> I mean, we're talking nice. about it, but I think it's funny because there's that meme yeah. with Kim Kardashian who's like, I don't wear makeup, and then Kim's like this, like. But you should though, because <laughs> some girls should. But I mean, if they want no, to, if they want to, it's yeah. always like it doesn't really matter if they wear makeup or not. I just it's really annoying it's really with like the girls that don't wear makeup and they're like boasting about it and stuff. Like, okay, that's awesome. I have a cookie, but do you, know, you Scotty P? You know, don't try and like bring down people who do make you know do their makeup and all that kind of stuff. It's and like, everybody's preference. Just let them do what they want to do. But, yeah, I mean that's about it for this first. I mean, I kind of felt show. like we were, you know, talking a lot. Of, like, yeah. It might sound like we're complaining, but we're really not complaining. We're just, like, bringing up stuff that we get, you know, have to deal with. I'm sure everybody has to deal with some kind of thing like that. Yeah. But hopefully we'll get some questions from other people and for our next, I don't know what you want to call it, next episode, next little chat that we have. So I guess that's it. So we will see you in our next video, guys. So bye.